good day! In this tutorial, we cover some of the useful features of Office Communicator in a Windows operating system. There are four main levels of communication through Communicator text or instant message, screen share, audio call, and video or webcam. To begin an instant messaging conversation, double click on a contact's name. The interface works the same as a typical instant messaging program, including text formatting and emoticon options. You also have the option to send files to your contact. Click the Send a File button, found to the top right of the conversation window, then browse and select the file you wish to send. To add other contacts to a conversation, click Invite and then select a contact from the list. You cannot send files to everyone in a conference at once, but right-clicking a contact's name will give you the option to send a file to one contact at a time. To share your screen, click the sharing icon drop-down at the top of the window, then select Share Desktop. If you have multiple monitors, Communicator will automatically share your main monitor. The tap at the top of your screen will show who has current control over the cursor. To share control, click this tab and then select the person you would like to share control with. You can take back control at any time by clicking the tab again and selecting Take Back Control. Keep in mind that when a contact is shown as being in control of your cursor, you can click on your desktop at any time to take control back. There will be a slight lag between what shows on your screen and what the contact sees. To stop sharing your screen, click the red X on the tab at the top of the window. To initiate a communicator audio call, click the call icon in the top left of the window. Both parties need to have working speakers and a working microphone. A headset is preferable and recommended, especially in an office situation. Communicator audio calls can also be made as conference calls, with multiple contacts speaking to each other at once. Before you initiate an audio or video call, set up your microphone, speakers, and webcam. Click the small drop-down arrow at the top left of the window, select Tools, then Set up audio and video. Follow the instructions to test your speaker, microphone, and webcam, if applicable, making sure that the speakers and microphones selected are the correct ones. If they are not, or if the test sound doesn't play, or if the microphone is not picking up your voice, select Custom from the first drop-down list in the window, and then select a different microphone or speaker. To start a video call, click the webcam icon at the top of the window. You do not need to have a webcam installed on your machine to view others' video, but you will not be able to share your own video. Make sure that your video and audio are set up correctly before attempting a video call. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day!